Welcome to any world ICT Academy. Let me show you how to buy from AliExpress in Nigeria. You must have heard about AliExpress in the past. It's a popular online shopping mall located in China. So we're going to look at how to buy from AliExpress in Nigeria. Okay. It's not as difficult as you may seem it to be. So we're going to look at the pros and cons and everything concerning AliExpress and buying from Nigeria. This is the AliExpress website in PC. You might be using the mobile application on your phone. This is how it looks like. So to buy from AliExpress, first thing you've got to do is to register with them create an account with them by going to this point i'm already logged in you can register on your mobile app after that you are, you are going to set up a payment for aliexpress so i can make your purchase and this is where many people find it very difficult to buy from aliexpress due to some government regulations that has affected the host of so the first you are going to do is to after registration is to click at this point and go to payment you are going to add your card here so this is where you're going to add your card now unless press does not accept naira card following government uh restrictions maybe some banks do but as much as i know and i could remember they don't accept naira card again so we're going to make use of dollar card banks now offer dollar cards to east customers that you can use to purchase something outside of nigeria so one of them is uba gold card could uba gold dollar card you can use it to pay for outside nigeria or outside the african continent there are so many other banks that does that as for me i use a gtb card gtb dollar card to get this done you have to go to gt bank i will speak for the one i make use of go to gt bank and register if you don't have any account with them register for an account a new account with them then they will ask you to also open a current account for you to open the mystery account you must have a current account so when you open the current accounts it will qualify you to open the domiciliary accounts and they will open so many accounts for you which includes dollar pounds and euro so you're going to have three foreign or domiciliary accounts once you are done they will offer you a card i don't know how much they are offering it for now but you can inquire from there they will give you a dollar card for the dollar accounts it looks like this okay so once you get it you are going to fund your domiciliary account you can go to bureau the change to get dollar from them by giving them naira or you can look for someone that stays abroad or anybody that can help you transfer dollar to your domiciliary account but the easiest way is to go to bureau the change change to dollar and go back to gt bank and pay it into your domiciliary account so you can have dollar in your domiciliary account once you're done with that, you get back to this place and add the card to your AliExpress account. Then you go back to the home page. We are going to scroll down to what we want to buy. So let's say we want to buy this particular item here. You click there. It's opened in a new tab then you look for any of the products you want to purchase let's say um, this one it will open under new tab again before you buy from aliexpress there are some things you need to take note of to avoid falling into the hands of scammers even though scammers don't do much in aliexpress because of their escrow payments you don't really have to worry about the payment your money will get back to you i've bought some items from aliexpress and i had issues to 
get the product. I couldn't get it, so I made a complaint to AliExpress, and my money was refunded back to me. So whenever you make a payment to AliExpress, they hold the money. They don't send it to the seller until the product gets to you before they release the money to the seller. So you don't have to worry about anything. So now we're going to take a look at this product. You can see 5,000 sold. That means 5,000 people have, uh, over 5,000 persons have bought this item. That was why you saw this plus. So it has been bought over 5,000 times. Now you don't have to rush to go and uh, make a purchase. Like, so it is here. So that's how it's also in your mobile application. So just scroll down on your mobile app. If you're using mobile app, you will see customers reviews click on it this will help you to make a better decision so you can see it here customer reviews scroll down you will see number of people that have bought it so read their reviews okay it's important that you read the reviews to understand whether you are purchasing a good item or not you can see so many reviews here with the pictures so that's how you know whether you are getting an authentic um, item so we must have read all the reviews you must not read all the reviews you can check the ones with one star or two stars and know the reasons why they gave the product two stars don't always depend on the those that gave the five stars check the two stars and three stars to be sure you can also check the description of the products and the specifications what you see and all that after you are done you can see buy okay you click on buy now This will take you to where you can make payment. You must have already added your card, so your card is going to appear here. Because I've not added my card yet, that's why it's still showing me add a new card. And you're going to also add your address. It's important that you put your address so that the product can get to your address. Now, which um, delivery company does AliExpress use? They make use of SpeedDAF Logistics. This is SpeedDAF. So SpeedDAF are the ones that are going to get your products to your doorstep. They might charge you shipping fee and all that. Like this one, the shipping fee is free because the item is not heavy. But some of them has some shipping fees that you have to pay. So some of them, they'll bring it to your doorstep. Why you, some of the poor items, you have to go to their office. Once you uh, purchase an item from AliExpress, your product is going to come with a number of codes. Okay. So that number of code is your private code that you can use to track the item whether it has gotten to your doorstep because once you make a purchase you'll be seeing how the movement is moving in a less press uh you can check here let me show you you can go to this point at your profile and go to my orders is also in your application you will see to ship shipped so once the item is being paid for it will come into under this category after it will move to this category and after it will go to this point so you'll be following it and you'll be seeing how it's coming down to your location so what i want you to do, also understand is that there is a number that they will give to you that is only for you that's the number you can use to track it or when you call speed up for any complaints you can they'll ask you for the number now if the number ends with r or ros they'll bring it to your home delivery these are mostly for items that are worth a big amount of money but if the number ends the tracking number ends with uh, e or es you have to come to their office to collect such item so your tracking number is important you must guide it and always hold it whenever you want to make a complaint to either aliexpress or speed off. so that's it that's how to buy an item from aliexpress in nigeria for more tutorials please subscribe to this channel